historically, lighthouses were beacons to guide ships out at sea. Today, they remain scenic parts of many local communities and offer some pretty cool views. Yeah, this weekend is the annual Lighthouse Challenge of New Jersey, where you have a chance to visit lighthouses around the state. I'm the news reporter, Pat Gallon. We know he's always up for a challenge, and he is at the Absecon Lighthouse in Atlantic City this morning with details. Hello, Patrick. Oh, my gosh. Did he not get to the top 217, yet? 218. 219, 220, <laughs> 221. We're almost there. Oh, we're almost there. Oh, I don't know if you could hear. I did so many steps. Yeah. We're at the top. We made it. We're at the top of the Abseekin Lighthouse, where there are some beautiful views. It is also part of the Lighthouse Challenge, as you guys mentioned, which happens this weekend. So step on out, take a look at beautiful Atlantic City. Is that not a gorgeous shot? Look at that. The sun is coming up behind the clouds. Impressive, impressive stuff. So, yeah, this weekend there is the Lighthouse Challenge. And to tell us a little bit more about it is Jean Mushana. Good morning. Hey, good morning again, Pat. First of all, here's your card to say you climb New Jersey's tallest lighthouse and the country's third tallest lighthouse right here in Atlantic City. I did it. I'm, I'm sure they're all impressed back there. Before we get into the Lighthouse Challenge, which happens this weekend, let's talk about the Lighthouse itself because I just climbed 228 steps. Exactly. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got your exercise for the day, so that's a good thing. We're here we are. We're on the viewing balcony of the watch room and at the top of the lighthouse. So this is open to the public. Mm -hmm. This is like kind of the fun thing, you know, that happens at the end of your climb. You get to step outside. Sure. It's the only 360 degree view of Atlantic City. So for that, it's wow. like really fun. People get to see all of the ocean and casinos sure. and the rest of the city. So it's great. Any other fun facts about this thing? I know it was built in the 1850s, so it's quite old. Yeah, it's old. One thing I like to tell people when they're about to climb the lighthouse is that you are stepping back into history to a time before Abraham Lincoln was wow. elected president. So just to think about that, then you know, oh my God, this is so cool. Sure. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, Very it's uh, the watch room. You know, uh, people wonder. You know, did we move our location? Because as you can see, we're kind of off the boardwalk. Yeah. This is the original location. The water during high tide came as far uh, close to the lighthouse as where Pacific Avenue is sure. today. So in the late 1880s, the city built uh, four stone and wooden jetties, okay. and they built a landfill basically and pushed the. Uh, we always say they didn't. They didn't move the lighthouse. They moved the ocean. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Okay. So the challenge then happens this weekend. This is one of 11 different lighthouses, it which is. you have on this yeah. beautiful lanyard this here. My advertisement for the challenge. <laughs> there it is. When people visit all 11 lighthouses, you buy your lanyard at the first lighthouse, and then wherever you visit, you get a button to build your lanyard as you go along. And if you complete the night climb, you get this special card that says, I completed the night climb. Ooh, what These, happens there? Uh, it's really special. You take it home, and everybody goes, wow, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> the night climb sounds fun as well. It is. It's really fun. Because because a lot of lighthouses are not open at night. We're one of three that will be open for sure. the challenge. Us, Tuckerton, and Cape May. Okay. Um, down in Cape May, obviously. And then these T-shirts are for sale everywhere along the way. Love it. And the front, you know, features all the lighthouses. The back, the map of New Jersey showing their location and sure. everything. So it's a lot of fun. People just enjoy it, and they hop around from lighthouse to lighthouse, and they get in their car, and you know, they look online and get directions, sure. and everybody uses their phone, obviously. Of and they're all posting on Facebook. It's a really fun day. And guess what? Um, the weather report is excellent. It is looking beautiful this weekend. If people want more information, where can they go? Um, LighthouseChallengeOfNewJersey.org or the Epsic and Lighthouse Facebook page or the Lighthouse Challenge Facebook page. So. Jean, thank you so thank much. You, Pat and Kyle. Thank enjoy, you so much. enjoy, guys. I mean that view. It's a lot better than looking at me, I'll tell you that. Looks great, Patrick. Well, Patrick, I do have to point out that Jean did not seem to be out of breath, and she climbed the same number of stairs that you did to get to the top of the lighthouse. He's silent now. I think he's gone. All right. I, bye I think we've lost him. <laughs> well, time now.